Looking for more on how to create simple color charts you can actually use? Well, by the end of this video, I'll show you even more about how to make color charts using more of your paints that you'll actually enjoy using and making. For all the best lessons on painting with vibrant color with acrylics, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a video so you don't miss a thing. So in part one of this video, I showed you how to make color charts with your primary colors. We used magenta, yellow, and blue. But what about the other colors on your palette? Well, you can make color charts with those two. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started so you can see what all of your colors do when you start mixing them together. Color mixing is one of my favorite parts of painting, and I've taught tons of new painters how to get started color mixing too. So now it's your turn. Let's dive in. So now we're going to take our color charts to the next level. So in the first part of this video, I showed you over here, we've got our primary colors mixed together. We made simple color charts. Now we're going to use even more paint colors and I'm going to show you how to see what else mixes well together um, and use your color charts to decide what colors you want to mix. So what I'm doing is I'm using my colors over here. If you want the full list of which colors I use, that is in the link below this video. You can click on that. You're going to see all these paints and a couple more listed on that list. We've got them all here. Just a quick run through. It's Quinacridone Magenta, Pyrrole Orange, Hansa Yellow Medium, Phthalo Turquoise, Thalo Blue, Dioxazine Purple, and Titanium White. These are by no means the only colors you can use. These are just my favorites and the ones I like to use. They're all golden brand. Um, yeah, I like them because the pigment is super, super rich. It's always good to invest in higher quality colors. It makes a huge difference. And you'll notice that these are the colors of the rainbow. Always good when choosing your colors. So what I'm gonna do is very similar to the other video. I'm gonna mix the different colors together in little stripes across using two at a time so we can see how they mix. I'm gonna try not to do ones that I already did. The new colors we have introduced now are uh, Pyrrole Orange, Thalo Turquoise, and Purple. So let's use some of those. So let's see if we take a little bit of Pyrrole Orange, and then let's say we wanna add a little bit of yellow to it. So this Pyrrole Orange, I like it because it's just a little bit more vibrant than an orange you can make yourself just a personal preference and it's fun to see how this mixes with other colors too. Bring some yellow in and maybe kind of wipe the brush off a little bit. I just wipe mine directly on my apron and then go from the other direction with some yellow and just to see what those colors look like when you mix them together and then label them orange, yellow medium. I just think that doing it this way with two colors at a time is just so much easier and so much better than having that big color chart because the thing is sometimes those color charts have colors listed that you don't have at home but also they're digitized right it's not an actual paint swatch so the color is not going to actually match what you have at home. The best way to know what your colors are gonna do is to test your own colors and make your own color chart. Next, let's do some phthalo turquoise. And maybe we'll blend that into the blue. And you could do this all day long with all the different colors. And if you wanted to, you could add a little bit of white see what happens there. You could even go bring some white towards the top that had a little bit more phthalo turquoise in it. And you put that here. There's no right or wrong way to do this. The whole point is just to show you what these colors do together. So this is phthalo turquoise, phthalo blue. You can come up with your own little shorthand. And then there was white there just makes more sense looking at it like this than a big old chart. So let's do one more. We got magenta and maybe we'll do the magenta and the orange too. And then I'll show you how you can experiment with these color charts to see which colors make brown and don't make super vibrant colors. You can do that too. And I'll tell you a trick for knowing which colors are going to blend nicely and which colors aren't. Okay, so there's our 
orange and magenta. So we'll label that. Orange, pyrrole, okay. So those are some more examples. Maybe actually let's do one more. So let's take some purple, dioxazine purple. And maybe we mix that with phthalo turquoise. This has a little bit of green in it. So it's not gonna be quite as vibrant, but might as well just experiment, right? No harm in that. And maybe we'll take some white so we can see, okay, it becomes a little bit more of a muted blue. That's just because there's some green in there, which has yellow in it. Blue and yellow make green. Yellow is a complement to purple. It's gonna make it a little less saturated. That's a little bit more advanced, but just something to know. Maybe we can make another one. There we go. And now you have this color recipe for a new color that maybe you wouldn't have come up with on your own. So this is dioxazine purple, phthalo turquoise, and I added white. Okay, so on a similar note, let's see what happens when we mix colors that are complementary to each other. So this is kind of a little bonus piece, a little bit advanced, but let's do it. So let's see what happens when we mix magenta with the turquoise. The turquoise is a combination of phthalo blue and phthalo green. You could buy phthalo green on its own too. I just really like phthalo turquoise. Okay, and that actually makes a nice color similar to purple. It's actually is coming out better than I thought it might. Okay, so that's what happens in between. And then maybe let's add a little bit of white. Maybe we'll put some of the magenta back so we get that middle color. Okay, and now we've got the surprise light purple. It's actually really pretty. I actually expected it to be a little bit muddier and I was surprised. The biggest, most important thing is to test your colors. I can give you advice all day long on which colors to buy, higher quality, transparent, things like that makes a huge, huge difference. But at the end of the day, you need to experiment with the colors to see what they're going to do. And using more of your colors, even beyond just your primary colors, is gonna help you be able to do that. So let's do one more. Let's do a little bit of yellow and purple. And again, we could go all day long. You could add white to all of these, whatever you want. These are your color charts. The point is keep them simple. So let's try this tiny bit of dioxazine purple. I'm going to do a whole other video on neutralizing colors and complementary colors. But for now, this is a good way to just experiment with your color charts. Okay, so this is making a brown. That's because purple and yellow are complements. But when you're just starting out, you might want to play around and test out some of your colors. And now when you're looking for the perfect shade of brown, you might know, oh, I actually can make it myself. We've got yellow, dioxazine purple. And let's even see what happens when we add a little bit of white. It becomes gray. And it's good to know. So your color charts are gonna look completely different than mine. The point is use two colors at a time just to start. You can start throwing in more colors later. Just use two colors at a time, go all the way across and label your colors. This is gonna be so much more useful to you than a big old color chart with all those different colors that you have to find uh, on your own. So start doing these and let me know in a comment if you have played with your own color charts and any big takeaways that you have found out while doing this. All right, so now you know even more about creating color charts. So I want you to tell me in a comment below 
what was your biggest takeaway from this video? And I want you to go ahead and experiment on your own by making your own color charts and let me know how that goes. And if you want to grab my full list of recommended painting materials, just download my quick start guide to painting with vibrant colors. That is in a link below this video. So if you like this video, make sure you're subscribed to my channel for all the best lessons on acrylic painting with vibrant color. Make sure you share it with your color loving friends too. And make sure you watch these two videos all about your color wheel and color charts part one. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.